Hi, this is Clyde Boom with iLearn Linux video tutorials. When someone wants to make a Linux distribution available to other people anywhere in the world, they commonly create an ISO file for each CD that the distro requires, and then they make the ISO file available for download at one or more websites on the internet. So, when someone needs to make an ISO for downloading, they put all the files that go on the CD into a single ISO file and give the ISO file a name and the file name usually ends in .iso. All of the files that someone needs to put on a CD are put into a single ISO file. This is also referred to as an ISO image file. It's a single file that contains an image of what will be burned onto a CD. The ISO image file usually contains hundreds of files. ISO image files are then put on servers on the internet so that they can be downloaded by anyone. Now, there are over 130 different versions of Linux, called distributions or distros for short, and when you're installing Linux from CD, most of these Linux versions require more than one CD. Virtually all of these different Linux distributions are available for download as ISO image files from lots of different places on the Internet. Therefore, there are thousands of Linux ISO image files available for download for free all over the Internet. When you download a Linux ISO file and burn it onto a CD, this creates a Linux operating system CD. This could be a Linux installation version CD, or a Linux live version CD. You boot with and install Linux from one or more Linux installation CDs. And you boot and run a live version of Linux from a single Linux live CD. The steps to boot Linux from CD and the steps to install Linux or use a live version of Linux are described and shown in detail in other video tutorials so, learning how to use Linux isn't rocket science. It can be real easy. Come on over to ilearnlinux.com and start learning Linux today.